good enough city. How about some quick hits instead? Let's go, Gab. Ismail Benacer's goal gives Milan a 1 0 win Ooh. over Napoli in their first leg. Oh. Jules, this is still very much in the balance, yes? Very much, of course, even if obviously Napoli would be without Anguissa, without Kim, but Spalletti said that Ozyman would be 100% ready to go for the second leg. So Ozyman makes a huge difference, if that's the case, if that's true. I don't know, he might have been playing with us, but if it's true, then it makes a big difference. I thought Napoli were the better team for moments in that game. I thought the intensity was great in the game. It was a an amazing game in an amazing atmosphere in a stadium that you know well, of course. That is, I hope we never see uh, not being there again, if you see what I mean. But yeah, I think this one would be perfect for the second leg to, to watch. I love the banner the Milan fans oh, put up. Beautiful. Like, we're coming for you. It looked like Milan's symbol, of course, is the devil. And it's like, shows like this devil. Ah, oh, it was about amazing, about to kind of man. strangle the, um, this character, Pulcinella, which is this sort of Neapolitan uh, uh, folk hero. I, I agree. I thought Napoli in the end maybe had, certainly had more clear-cut chances mm. uh, than Milan. Equally, the thing about Milan is they hit the crossbar with, with Simon Kerr. They had the Rafael Leao shot. Yeah. I do wonder a little bit. They were able to play with more intensity than they have. I think physically, they're, they're, they're a little better. But I still feel like for Milan, you got to take the game to the opposition more mm. than you're doing. I know it's hard. I know the stakes are high. Yeah, um, I see what you mean. But it, it is encouraging. And um, Magic Mike was special. And what about Brahim Diaz's turn on the goal? Wow. Uh, I thought you, yeah, but okay. Much love to Brian Diaz, but, but yeah, you, should, you like, shout at Ru Lubotka yeah, and, and was it Mario Rui? Yeah, yeah. Like between the two yeah, of yeah, you, yeah, put yeah, him yeah, down. For sure. Yeah, for put sure, him down. For sure, for sure. Uh, no question. Sure, I'm, sure. Yeah, Magic Mike. I, I said before, like, is there a better goalkeeper in the world? Thibaut Courtois. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe certainly not for the price. You don't need many fingers to count the ones that are better not, than Magic Mike. Not at that price. And Gab, Napoli boss Luciano Spalletti had plenty to say after the game. He wasn't happy with the officiating and he was concerned about the home crowd back in Naples. Yeah, so on the officiating, uh, he was unhappy with, with, with Zambo and Gisa's... It's uh, not a second yellow, come on. He, the, he wasn't happy with that at all. Uh, which, you know, whatever. I, at 11 v 11, you know, they, they, they still had those chances late on. Yeah, yeah, true, of course, true, at the true, end. True, yeah. um, but the story with the home crowd is interesting because this is such a weirdo story. And I think a lot of people have, have kind of missed this. And you've seen this in, in previous games. Um, so there's a portion of... Napoli's ultras who are very much at war with the club and, and the president the Laurentiis, De yeah. they accuse him of ticket prices being too high of putting in new rules which means that if you bring in banners into the stadium and drums you have to register them mm. with the club first and you know they want to be able to put up their own banners without having the club approve the banner beforehand um, and so they protest and so which is part of the reason they were protesting in when, when, when they lost 4 nil at home uh, against Milan, uh, you had, it's about 700 people who, not only do they not cheer, but they get angry and supposedly intimidated. And there were fist fights between them and yeah. other groups of supporters who actually were cheering for the team. And it seems crazy that Napoli, one of the most passionate football cities in all of Europe, when they play at home, they don't have proper home support. But you don't but, think for a game like this, everybody will unite kind of thing? And that's sure. what Spalletti asked for after the game. I mean, I, I would think it would be the, the absolute peak of self-harm yeah. if they say, let's put our differences aside for this one game. And then, look, I, I'm, I, I think the Ultras bring a lot. I think it's a special part of the game. I can certainly see both parts of the argument. But you can't damage your team. Sure like Spalletti said that. You saw what the crowd in Milan was exactly. were like. The crowd in Naples should be the same way. They need them but badly. It, it wouldn't be. And so it's, it's an issue. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.